Hey, Rob here, your backyard sidekick. And in this video, I just wanted to show you how we made our own cornhole bags. If you've been following along, we made our cornhole boards and everything. So I thought, let's just show you how we did it. Um, first, we got this duck cloth. Now this is like the, you know, traditional material cornhole bags are made out of. You wanna get two different colors. There's two teams when you're playing cornhole. And for the filling, um, I've seen people use like rice or beans or something. You're not supposed to traditionally. Uh, cornhole bags are filled with just dried out pieces of corn. But I didn't want to do that because those will get, corn will get moldy and stuff after a while. So we got this. Will that zoom in? It's basically a synthetic. It, it's just small plastic shaped like a kernel of corn. <laughs> so it's as close to the good old days as you can, but I'd rather use the plastic so that it's, uh, we can have these forever. And so what you end up with is a cornhole bag. Now the bag itself will weigh one pound and it will be six inches by six inches. Um, the, I guess the cloth they, you're guesstimating it's about weigh half an ounce. So you put 15.5 ounces of filling in each bag. Um, let's just walk through the steps. I had recorded it while we were doing this. So let's jump over to this, uh, video here. Uh, first thing we did is measured out, uh, each piece of cloth that you're going to make a cornhole bag out of. Now you can do two pieces of cloth, six and a half inches by six and a half inches and sew them together. But uh, we thought, why not just um, create a rectangle that you fold and that way there's less sides to sew. That made sense to me. So that's what we did. Uh, we got six and a half inch tall by 13 inches wide. Now the bag ends up being six by six, like I said, but you want that little bit quarter inch on each side for sewing it for the stitching to sew it together. So this first rectangle, we cut it out. Um, we use that as the template. So you're not going to have to measure right here. She's doing a double check here, making sure it is six and a half, six and a half all the way down and then 13 long. And that way we use this template for all the all the rectangles we're cutting out afterwards so you don't have to measure everything here she's just double checking again um, you want to use yeah she's using it as a template you want to use that same first cut as a template for all the bags though like you don't want to use this second rectangle as the template for the third rectangle if that makes sense um, because after a while you know you're off a little bit you're off a little again off a little again your last bag ends up, you'll have to be a different size. So yeah, you can see here, even with the red bags, we use that same first rectangle um, to measure all the others. And that way, it's not going to be exact, but it'll be close enough. And so we got all the rectangles cut. And she wanted to go ahead and just iron it, so that way it's flat. So when she's sewing it, there's a, I guess, easier, I don't, I don't know, it was easier to sew that way. And then, you know, we sew. And then here she's adding the pins to keep it in place for when she's sewing. I thought that sewing machine was going to mess up with those pins. I guess not. It's pretty cool. Um, so here, sewing. And the way we did this is she sewed two sides all the way. And then that third last open side she just sewed a little bit in and left a gap in the middle. Um, let me get, let's jump in the video so I can show you that. There we go. So yeah, here we've got, it's easier to see on this red bag. We've got the two sides sewn and then she just sews, it looks like quarter way in and then back it out. That way, um, you have somewhere to fill the bag 
And then here's where she's going to flip it inside out. So we're getting ready to fill them. Um, you can flip it inside out through that gap that you left as well. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Once it's all flipped inside out, that's the cornhole bag. Now to fill it, you might have noticed I haven't done anything really so far. <laughs> so this is my part where I come in. I got to find this little kitchen scale. I think she measures like vegetables with it or something. And then this measuring cup and you want 15.5 ounces. I guess, I mean, you don't have to be exactly on the dot, but here we go. It looks like just under two cups. So if you don't have a scale, but you have a measuring cup and you're using these same plastic corns, get it to just under two cups. The thing is you don't want to overfill the bag because then uh, you're increasing the chance that it's going to burst or something like that while you're playing. And then we go ahead and fill the, I didn't like this funnel. You want to go ahead and fill the bag. I used and ended up just using a piece of paper that I rolled up to make like my own funnel with. And here, yeah, she's just pouring it in. Um, after you get this bag all the way filled, now you just have that one gap left to sew up. And so, yeah, that's here we're showing. She just did it by hand. I thought, why not use the sewing machine? But apparently if it's this small, um, it's easier to just do by hand like that. And there you have it. We did that eight times. You get four red, four black, or whatever color you use. You want four for each team. Eh, there you go. That's the video. You end up with, uh, you can see we've already used these <laughs> quite a bit. Does that need to zoom in? Yeah. So, there you go. I hope this helped you out. And uh, go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of stuff. Anything backyard, we do it. And uh, thanks for watching.